Just wrapped up an adventurous weekend in the Petrified Forest National Park. We did a long bike ride and we did some hiking and exploring around the park and it was hot. And you can probably see it in my face and my eyes. I'm a little bit exhausted. I just wanna get some water and go to bed. But I decided to put this video together to share with you my skincare routine post hiking or any outdoors activity for that matter. Just going to share with you uh, what I'm going to do here just to restore my skin and nourish it a little bit. And I hope that you're going to find this to be useful. So obviously before hiking, especially here in the desert in Arizona, it's very dry out. So we always make sure that we are applying a lot of sunscreen and reapplying every two hours if not less and that's probably the reason why you saw me with my face looking like a clown with a lot of sunscreen and one thing that we learned is that wearing long sleeves always helps and long pants as well so that protects the majority of your skin and if you have any areas that not covered like your hand or your neck or the back of your neck you want to make sure that you're applying sunscreen as well uh, but even with that you come back and there is some burn like look at my face right here on my right and left cheeks there are some burn marks and in my neck as well because that was not covered so anyway so what i'm gonna do with the with the burns in my neck i'm just gonna start with applying some aloe vera uh, gel it's supposed to to be soothing and moisturizing for any type of burns i'm just gonna apply some of it on my neck but i'm not going to apply it on my skin that's going to be a different type of nourishing and moisturizing i know that the light is not great because it's dark and i'm just to be honest, I'm just getting tired. I don't have that much energy to set up the light to look better. Um, but anyway, so with my face, because I had a lot of uh, sunscreen and a lot of dirt with the, with the biking and such, um, I did shower, but still I feel like I want to just use some wipes to get uh, all of the stinkiness off. My lips are also dry. So with that out of the way, I'm going to exfoliate. So all you have to do is just use some sort of uh, facial scrub. This is what I'm using right now. And that is hopefully going to, to do some work to get rid of some dead skin. If a paper crane can fly, then really doesn't feel that far. I didn't feel like it's uh, deeply exfoliating, it's a little bit gentle. So I'm going to use my brush just to kind of uh, help the exfoliation process. I'm gonna try to avoid these areas right here that are a little bit burnt because I feel like they're already burning. And that already feels much better. If I had so much time, I would apply face mask sheet just to, to really nourish it. But if I do it right now, I might fall asleep. I'm going to use my eye cream, first of all. This is uh, one of the eye creams that I've been using lately. And I would apply underneath my eye and on the lid as well. And it's been working really well for me. I don't have a mirror in front of me, my mirror is right here. And I feel like it does a great job of moisturizing underneath the eyes. This is from the brand BioSense. I've been using them for about, I think four months now. And they have some very good products. I'm not crazy about, you know, using a lot of Products. If I find one brand that I like, I just use it for a while until I find another one that works for me. And this one seems to be working really nice. So this eye cream is, uh, is really good. So this brand claims to be, by the way, this is not sponsored or anything. It's just a brand that I like. And they claim to be clean and organic. So anyway, just apply it underneath my eye. Feels so good. So that's that. And then for my face, I'm going to apply a repair cream that's supposed to moisturize my, my skin. That's the one I'm 
I'm using. Same brand also. They do have a night cream, and to be fair, I tried the, the night cream before, and I didn't like it. I don't like the smell of it. And to be honest, most of the smells from their products, they're not, you know, they're, they're fragrance-free to start with, and at the same time, they don't smell great. I don't have a problem with, with the smell as long as it's doing my skin good. And I feel like this one does a great job of uh, hydrating and moisturizing my skin. And I would just apply and lift up, up, up. Mm, my lips are also dry. There we go. This is, by the way, their uh, their night cream. If you want to try it, it's it just didn't work for me. I don't like the skin. This is the the one that you're supposed to to apply nighttime. And to be honest, this is one that I apply all the time. Whenever I want to moisturize this, my skin, this is the one that I apply. I have a bit of a burnt area here too, I think. Yeah, I can feel it. So that's that. What else do we want to do? I think this is good. I'm just going to apply uh, a lip balm. They have a rose vegan lip balm. It's really nice. I even stopped wearing lipstick. Lately, even when I put some makeup on, I would just apply some of their lip balm. It's really nice, it works well. Plus they have it in a mini glass container. So that's the... Like I said, if I had the time, I would have applied a nourishing mask before applying my moisturizer, but it's not for today. Now the other thing, with the heat and dry temperature, um, all of your skin should be taken care of, including your hands especially. You can see since, since I moved to Arizona, all my hands are always dry most of the time. So you really have to apply moisturizer. And I don't mind using the same one that I was just applying on my face, on my hands. But then the other thing is your hair. Your hair also gets affected by dry heat. Uh, since I already washed my hair, I'm going to apply a reparative cream and the one that I use and I love, love, love this one. I've been using it for a couple of months right now. It's number six from Olaplex. And basically when you wash your hair, you just uh, leave it in, just like a leave-in conditioner. And it does a great job of uh, nourishing and protecting uh, your hair. I did even try there. Uh, shampoo, their conditioner, and their perfect size. But my favorite one is the leave in conditioner just because it does wonders, especially for my hair. My hair has a lot of problems that need to be taken care of. And then when I just go, you know, like this weekend biking or hiking, I can feel it when I'm back. It's like, oh my goodness, my hair is, uh, is really dry. I've tried their uh, shampoo and conditioner. I like, uh, I like both of them. They do also have another uh, repair cream that you apply on your hair um, when you're taking a shower and then you just leave it there for 20 minutes. But to be fair, I'm not gonna apply something on my hair and just wait in the shower for 20 minutes. So instead, I opted for number six, well, where you just wash your hair and then apply it. That's what I'm gonna do. And what some people do before going on outdoorsy activities like this, obviously you want to make sure that you're wearing your hat, but if you, you have a long hair, um, you know, just try to braid it. Some people would apply leave-in conditioner even before going out and getting exposed to the sun. But you can see how with my hair I probably need a whole bottle. But anyway, so that is Olaplex number six. And that's about it for my hair. So this was a very simple, real fast, post-outdoor, post-hiking skincare routine, I would say. Um, but really just to tell you that it's very important to take care of your skin, especially when you are out and you are exposed to, to the sun and the heat. 
and I hope that you guys found this to be useful. What I'm gonna do just over the next day or two, I'm going to try to apply face mask just to nourish my skin because I can feel it right now that it's really suffering. Um, but with the, the amount of moisturization that's going on right now, I think this is going to be good for now. If you have your own skincare routine, post hiking or post adventuring, let us know in a comment. If you have any best practices that worked for you in the past, let us know in a comment and we're excited to learn from you. Take care and I will talk to you guys later. Good night.